rank after rank of Byzantine forces march forward to the Battle of Yarmouk. It is 636 AD and a huge army of Byzantines around a strength of 150,000 men march towards a very much smaller but just as deadly force of Muslims numbering around 40,000. What's up guys, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another historical battle for you today and we're using the 642 Dark Ages mod today which is a uh, Fortilla Total War and so we've got a lot of different units uh, on the battlefield today some that are very similar to vanilla but they look very different with like the reskin mod but we have the uh, Byzantine Empire here today or the Eastern Roman Empire and these guys look glorious and they're facing the uh, Rashidun Caliphate today but yeah these guys look awesome Lego Comestiensis here we've got like an axe unit in behind here this is called the Tagma I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but they look awesome. But as you can see, um, it is a huge 4v4 battle here today with myself and some of the subs and members of the Discord. And uh, it is a 21,000 man battle. It is absolutely huge. And there is a ambush already laying in wait, waiting. This is uh, some of the Muslim forces over here. There's a lot of uh, these uh, Martyrs Brigade here. These guys are very nasty. Even though they're light infantry or very light infantry, they don't die or they don't break. Which is just as scary. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, nasty stuff back here. We also have some, uh, I think this is like noble infantry or something. Uh, I can't actually tell. But yeah, this is like a noble infantry unit here. They are also just as cool. But yes, yeah, so they are lying in wait. And this cavalry here is uh, un d unknowing that it is there. And this, uh, there's also this cavalry here hidden. But yeah, this is a huge, huge battle. Just look at all these troops march forward. It looks amazing. Just so many Byzantines. It's amazing. And so we'll put it at normal speed now. Uh, as uh, everything gets underway. As you can see, there's a lot of cavalry for the uh, for the Arabs. They are um, they have more troops. But uh, they are by far and away... Uh, the uh, Byzantines have more troops, sorry. But uh, they have by far and away more cavalry. As there's like a charge going in here already. Like taking out some of these uh, martyrs. I mean... We will like go, just send the cavalry in, we will like send the cavalry in. We can, uh, we can, like this cavalry here is not the greatest though. It is uh, more of the, it's like the uh, medium melees. Uh, so it's absolutely overwhelmed by these martyrs. Just look at them as they're in there. There's just so many of them. So we're desperate. And then now the cavalry over here has been mobilized. I do apologize if it's ever so slightly uh, jerry, but it's probably just down to the size of troops. Yeah, this is the huge amount of uh, cavalry going in and there we go so this is cav frax going up against some of the uh, the melee cav that the uh rashidun caliphate has available to it in history this battle was won by the rashidun caliphate an army that is vastly outnumbered uh, manages to beat uh, the byzantine army and uh, it's pretty damn impressive to be fair 150,000 byzantines is a huge one of the biggest like armies that they ever like put together the Byzantines it is a huge huge thing but as you can see here we were like right we're gonna have to turn our entire left flank here to basically face this new oncoming threat uh, we were winning some of the cavalry fights but we were losing a lot of cavalry just as infantry a lot of these reserves now over here go back towards uh, like this front line here and myself and uh, another one of the Byzantine players just strike out to try and pin down this force here uh, I'm basically facing no army I have like no army here facing me. We are about to have another cavalry clash here as we got some uh, cataphracts or some uh, clibrin uh, a name I can't pronounce. But they're basically cataphracts, but even nastier as they come flying in. And there they go. And there, look at the like the heavily armored like cataphracts. I mean, so the uh, cavalry for the Muslims is just as armored as well. And you can see there's infantry coming up to support. We got this is a scoot. Uh, scooter toy this unit here it was the main infantry used in the uh, battle of Yarmouk in history so it's uh, it seemed only apt to have them here and we've got some uh, medium bow cavalry in this army as well so they'll be able to go up against the uh, jihad horse archers here which look awesome look at the like face masks going on these look amazing but uh yeah this is a really really cool mod if you haven't checked it out it's in the uh, steam workshop it's definitely worth checking out as you can see already these uh i'll Dowser units are just getting absolutely out, outmatched by the uh, shock cavalry here. And uh, the first infantry clashes have begun. Strangely, they sent skirmishers in. I think these skirmishers just got caught out of position. They didn't have skirmish mode on. But uh, these uh, Legio Comestiensis will be able to absolutely, uh, well, annihilate them probably. Have some easy, easy kills here. 
And I already prefer the Lego Comisciensis in this mod to like in vanilla. It looks so much nicer. And you can see here they are chasing down uh, these uh, shock infantry. Another shock infantry. The, the uh, missile infantry. These uh, range units are trying to run back. And we've got they've got a line set up here of... Uh, what is this? Noble Al Rahain. I'm definitely pronouncing these names wrong. But they look awesome. And they are going to take on the uh, Lego Comisciensis just about now. There you go. In they go. So as you can see here, my army in the gold here is basically facing absolutely nothing. We have caught a general here though, this is huge. Uh, we managed to catch this general out, I don't know what he was doing, he went in for a charge against this sword unit here. Which he might break, this Lego Comisciensis. But it allowed me to then get cavalry in to pin him down, we've now got Scooter Toy coming into the rear. Yeah, this Desert Warlord is uh, now trying to break out. And he's gonna probably, yeah there you go, he's got himself killed. General Enemy general has been killed. Just in that bit there, but as you can see, the main fight is barely started over here, and these guys appeared first, and like, almost had the attack first, and they've actually not even had their fight yet. We are like, we're late to the party, and we're still fighting them first, uh, which is kind of bizarre. But as you can see in here, the, you've got Lego Comisciensis. This uh, unit with the kite shield, I'm pretty sure that is uh, called the Optimatoi. It's like the, uh, they have the same unit card as the like Eastern Armoured um, Legio, or whatever they are. It's like one of the late period... Roman units in uh, Vanilla Attila, but they look nothing like them and they look so awesome. But yeah, the Byzantine army in history was made up of like Georgians, made up of Franks, uh, Armenians, Christian Arabs. It was a really like mixed force, which is probably why the Byzantines didn't fare so well because they had such like wide variety of different troops like in their, uh, in their army. They probably couldn't communicate entirely. And also it's just such a huge army, it's so hard to maneuver. But yeah, these axe units here it looks amazing. The uh, Tegema, or yeah, Tegma or something like that. Tegma. Oh, that poor guy lost his head though. At least he'll go die. He'll die at least looking like awesome in his uniform, like all white almost. He remind me of the Praetorians a bit. Their white shields, white capes. Look awesome. One of my favourite units I think in the uh, in the game. But as you can see, we are trying to wrap around this formation here. We've got some. Uh, some another different unit here, which I've never seen. Like, well, it definitely isn't. It's the Antiques Antiques Nazi or something like that. It's another really elite sword unit. Um, they basically have the same unit card as the Numenori, and they kind of look the same as the uh, as the other unit we saw earlier, the Optima Optima Toy. Um, but as you can see here, the cavalry fight is uh, about to begin on this far flank, and uh, my cataphracts here, or the clip, they're basically cataphracts, like I already said. They're getting, uh, they're getting absolutely harassed and destroyed. They're getting focused down, but I'm trying to just try and break through so I can get in behind this infantry line. As you can see, the infantry line is uh, not too far away. I mean, it's literally here. And I'm trying to get some, I'm now trying to get in some scooter toys to try and support this. And I'm trying to get this, uh, we're trying to get this cavalry into combat. If we can get this cavalry into combat and win, because we have a lot more infantry to support, I have an entire army that could support if ne needs be, um, then we should win this flank because their cavalry, they don't have enough infantry, it's all in combat right now. And you can see this front line is just about holding on. I'm going to go into slow-mo again. I know uh, that's uh, sometimes not the best thing in the world, but it's just so much is going on. And I feel like it needs to be, we need to have a look. So you can see here, this main front line is uh, just about uh, holding for the Muslim forces here. Over here, I mean, same here really. They've got so many reserves have the... Uh, have the Byzantines and they've got all like got their missiles. They've all got like oh they put them away. It's so annoying. Hopefully they'll get them out again. But they have like a uh, yeah here they are. Let's see if these guys have them out. Oh no these guys have different stuff. They have actual javis. But there is like some units have like just little uh, like sort of missiles. You know what I like if you've ever seen like a like a nerf like one of those nerf missile like javelin things you can throw. It's the best way I can describe it. Um, it's kind of like that. Oh this is a really nice line being made here. This is teak. Techie Heaster. It's another different unit in like Kite Shield as well. It's kind of like the whole like Dark Ages period. Getting rid of the Oval Shield at this point. But yeah, the infantry line is just about to clash on this side. As uh, I discussed like nerf uh, javelin things or whatever they are. But you know what I mean? They're like a tiny little, they're almost like a small dart. That's what they are. They're like a dart really. It's like a nerf dart I guess you call it. Um, but yeah, so this unit here, look at this. This Martyr's Brigade. It's out of control. This unit won't break. It's like Berserkers. They just won't break. They will fight to the death, and they are like got—they've just got like a sword. That's all they have. They kind of remind me of um, 
like the uh, the fanatics from Game of Thrones, which whose name I've forgotten. But look at that! Oh, what a nice beheading! Chop that guy down. And that's just happening across. I mean, they're getting outmatched by all of these axemen. This guy here is going to just uh, behead him as well. Oh, so much beheading going on, but it looks glorious. It looks absolutely amazing. And there's going to be some more. There you go. There's your fair share of beheading today. But you can see this is a huge cavalry force massing on this side. And this is all the Romans have to defend this left flank. So left flank is really in a lot of trouble for the uh, Romans, Byzantines, whatever. They're the same thing. Um, but yeah, it's in a lot of trouble here. I mean, we're going to win on this uh, small flank here. These axes, like I've already just shown you, beheading these martyrs brigades so much. I mean, they just can't stop them. So they're going to flank around. I mean, they've got so many more martyrs brigade here. Look at all of this. They send them in. Someone just decided to spam them. Uh, I had set some armies out, but... We had more players than we thought we'd have uh, joining. And someone decided to spam out Mars Brigade since they were just a random army. And uh, yeah, that, that's we found out that they're really good. They do really, really well at some points of the battle. But uh, we'll go back here and uh, we will watch the front line go on. It's mainly, well, we just need to keep an eye just on this entire front really. Because uh, it is a very chaotic. Very, very chaotic. I mean, the archers over here... Uh, we've got a lot more of our archers dead, like they're focusing them down. Their archers basically can't get anywhere, like without being shot. Like they can't get out of range and get shot, but also be affect the battle. And as you can see here, we've broken through this huge area. This is, is just absolutely decisive to this whole area. And then now this unit can be flanked around. These slingers can be caught. All of this will be caught. And the cavalry fight. They're retreating their cavalry, and they're engaging like the cavalry in little bits and clumps. And that was actually, I think, their downfall. If they'd overwhelmed us, possibly, with all their cavalry, they may have won this. Obviously, they didn't have the infantry support, but that might have been enough. They might be able to break the cavalry uh, that we had with all of this. They still have some nice cavalry, and you can see here, we're going to have a cavalry charge. This is a this poor Comestiensis is going to get absolutely battered. There you go. Absolutely knocked down. Poor unit. And now in comes some uh, cavalry to try and save the day. This looks like it's some of the cataphract toy. Yep. And at this point, we're starting to shuffle stuff across. As you can see, we are really concerned about this area over here. We are having a lot of issues. Um, a general's even in combat. We have a general even in combat. I think he was there just to hold back this flank. I'm surprised this cavalry here doesn't go into combat. It really could. Like, the uh, horse archers as well aren't that bad in combat. But yeah, we have a general in here somewhere. No idea where he is. What is this unit with the white shields? Oh, the Pelif. Uh, this is basically the uh, the slightly worse unit than the tech than the uh, the axe unit I have. It has like no uh, breastplate. They've just got like chainmail on. They look quite nice, but they're having a rough time. They're trying to hold back this force to allow their general to get out now. And as you can see here, this is a huge, huge issue. All these infantry here could get caught. So we're desperately trying to get stuff across. We've got a general here that's going to have to charge down. A, uh, a out of control uh, martyrs brigade, and there you go. All that cavalry's now committed. All of this and it's going in after the crossbows. That is devastating. All these ballistari here, these elite ballistari as well, doing a lot and lots of damage. So they are now able to just flank around if they want to, and then they could destroy like this entire flank here. So the Muslims have left it. Uh, have, well, have got themselves in a really good position on this flank. Over on the far flank, though. It's not looking so good. I am desperately trying to send some stuff across. We've got some uh, of those uh, nice axes coming across. We've got my general here. We've got the other general for um, like the other Byzantine army here. We've got some archers coming across. So my archers are about to get engaged by these martyrs. They're going to get cut down. Uh, so that's always great. And we've got another general in combat here for the Muslims. So we could take out another one. I mean, he is he's looking pretty healthy. I mean, he's starting to lose now because he's pulling out of combat. But he's in there somewhere. He's a desert warlord. There was one... There was one, like, uh, not, like, huge general. What's he called? There you go. Caliph's Radif. That's him. That's the main general. It's the main general. And then the others are Desert Warlords. Well, they should be anyway. Um, let's see. No, there's two Caliph's Radifs. So there should only be one. Um, really. But, uh, if we can kill them, that'll be huge. Because they have some of the most elite armies. As you can see, these Scooter Toy just fighting out against the Martyrs. Like, don't doubt these Mars. They may be seeing, like, quite a get cut down, but they're still killing a lot of, like, Scooter Toy. Because they just don't break. So these guys have, like... Also, this is a, a hindrance for our units. Because our men are just, like, being forced to fight longer against these units. Units that would usually break once they, like, lose so many men. Nah, these guys just carry on fighting. They don't care. 
running for their lives. Yeah, you can see that these scooter toy, they're doing their doing their work. We've got some axes in over here. They're winning decisively against it's more of these Martyrs Brigade in the Sanai, which is a slightly uh it's got a, it's a unit with sword and shield, it's quite good. These guys look awesome. I actually I'd watch these guys all day. Just these uh axe units. They're just oh, some of the modeling does look good. I mean, some of it does look very similar to, like, the main game. Like, the Scooter Toy just look like the Legio. But, I mean, they look... Some of these units look amazing as well. Like, just a slight difference. It just it just makes a difference. And you can see here, like, these guys find, like, all these Byzantines here. They're just, like, clearing up what's left. And now they're able to march to the left flank of the Byzantine em uh, the army. And they're able to go and, like... I mean, certainly the battle is now in favor of the, uh, of the Byzantines because they've won this flank. But if... This Byzantine army here, this Byzantine force can't uh, relieve over here, and this could be huge. My general's now in com in combat. He's trying to fall back, trying to get out of there. He actually probably would have got out there now, but then I decided to send him back in because he starts to lose, and I thought, well, I don't want to lose my general because at this point I have the largest army left. My, my army's barely seen combat. And also, I thought if I pull him out, then this camel unit has free reign on this flank. I mean, I was still debating. I really wanted to pull him out. I was like, I just got to get him out. He's losing decisively. But my archers... And then Ally's general is dead. Whose general is dead? Oh, is this general here, I think? I think he was here. He's breaking anyway. Magister Militant broken. I don't think that Byzantine army had much left anyway. As you can see, there is literally nothing left of this flank. It is all gone. Um, but yeah, my general is still losing. We're sending in some uh, Optimati... Optima toy, they should be able to uh, able to help with this fight. The infantry in here is certainly going to help fight these uh, these camels because camels do so well against cavalry. Like camels scare horses, so I mean camels against uh, cavalry is a really good matchup. And you can see there's just a sheer number of infantry in here now. This is insane. These uh, camels stand no chance really now. And there you go. The general is uh, winning. The Firing in here, trying to focus on my general. And you can see that a lot of these units are starting to break. And that is probably going to turn the battle in favor of the Byzantines well and truly. If they could have killed my general, I think they would have been really, really dicey. Because I had a lot of units left, as you can see. I have probably at least a good half the army left. I mean, they still have most of the cavalry do the uh, Muslims. So they have to use that to a great effect. They probably want to stop blobbing up here. This is a problem. They have broken this Optima toy here, but they're now allowing us just to surround and pin down this unit as much as possible. Or well, these units. Optima toy here. They'll hold the line for the Emperor. I'm pretty sure the Emperor at this point is Heracleus, um, who's a pretty good general. I mean, he's actually quite a, one of the better Byzantine generals, a uh, Byzantine uh, Emperors, in fact. And uh, he's not actually at the battle, but he is. Uh, shame he isn't, because he could have. Uh, could have turned it in favor of the Byzantines, possibly. Because here we've got a nasty charge coming in. Into the back of these uh, infantry here. They're getting focused down now by Balistari. These poor, poor, like... I don't, what unit's this? This is the uh, Contario. That's a nice unit. It's also got the oval shields. Yeah, let's have a quick look at them as they're in combat. Look at them. Look at those the harps on their shields. Two angels holding harps. And then this is a spear unit. Tag, uh, Tagma... Uh, ton... Icon, or I don't know, I even know how you pronounce that. These guys look pretty awesome as well. Karen wearing like shorts, almost like baggy shorts. Look sharp, men. Now you can see here, we're just going to hold the flank with these spears. That was the plan. Allow my uh, infantry to basically carry on the fight here. Though it's basically one. And these, uh, yeah, you can see here these. Oh, maybe the Martyr brig Brigades can break. They don't usually, but we saw most of them go into like uh, our control here, but some of them clearly did break. That's interesting, but you can see here we're going to have a charge. They're going to charge into these spears. This is probably going to be painful for uh, the cavalry. I can't see this being at all good. Spears! At them! Up and at them, men! And you can see the cavalry's getting around. They're trying to defend the generals, keep them alive as long as possible, try and keep the fight alive as long as possible. But as you can see, it's basically over. There's like horse archers left. This is the mo most frustrating bit, getting their horse archers. But we've got a general in here, we've got infantry in here, and these Martyr Brigade, they just won't die. They just will not die. And we'll have a look at the end results, because they've got some really nice kills of some of them.
At least in today's battle, it's quite easy to tell the difference. Basically, anyone heavily armoured is probably a Byzantine. And everyone in green, or like a slight shade of green, is uh, going to be part of the uh, the Muslim forces. As you can see there, a general is wavering and he's breaking. That is probably going to cause any chain routes for any of his army left, but I don't think he's got any. We've got to have a charge here from the uh, Jihad horse archers, though, into some of these uh, armoured secretary. But they're nearly out of ammo, so their purpose is almost over. And here we go. In they go. And they're going to carry on like they should. They're going to go after... I think they're going after my general. Because this is... We caught the uh, horse archers. They decided to stand and fight because they've got no ammo left. And my general's gone in. And then we've got a... Uh, the axe unit back there. And he's going to try and slow this down. But here we go. Charge into the back. Into my general. Oh, that could be quite nasty, actually. They're just awesome. But it does look like today that the Battle of Yarmouk is going to be won by the Byzantines and not by the Muslim forces. So we're going to see a change in history as uh, Byzantium holds on to the Levant and makes and retakes the holy areas or the holy lands, I guess you call it, for themselves. I guess, yeah, it would be the holy lands. Why would I call it the holy areas? Um, but yeah, so the holy lands, they retake Syria for themselves because that's what they lost during, uh, during this campaign. They lost Syria. And uh, basically everything got, like, south of Antioch. But they still held Egypt at this point. But not for long. Egypt was next to fall in history. But uh, today, they will hold. And the Byzantine Empire, I guess, will endure. They could almost push back the the Muslim forces. And it's quite interesting in history. The uh, Persian Empire and the Byzantine Empire at this point made an alliance to get rid of the uh, Muslim forces. They saw that much of a threat that, they, like, the oldest enemies, like, in history... Decided that they needed to ally against the Muslim forces. That's how insanely scary these guys were at this point. That they united empires against them. But there you go. The final unit breaking. 60 out of 80 men left and he breaks. A terrible show. Should reduce the rally ability. But there you go. So the Byzantines left with about 3,000 men on the battlefield. And uh, just about every single man of the 10,000 army of the Muslims is dead. and Or is run off the battlefield at this point. But uh, yeah, it's been a really, really fun one. It was really fun to fight, but we'll, uh, I'll just quickly show you a slow, or like, pause. But you can see all, like, the, like, the battle lines here looks absolutely disgusting. Like, that is insane. And, uh, yeah, this was a really fun one to fight. I mean, it's the same over here on this side. There's just so many bodies. Um, obviously, like, you can see it's, like, fought in a grassy field. Yarmouk was obviously slightly more in the desert, but this was, like, actually, we, uh, I found a map randomly in... Jerusalem or near Jerusalem and this is what it gave us. It gave us uh, a grassy area. So uh, before anyone goes and says in the comments, oh uh, Yarmouk was fought in the desert. Yeah, well, we found a place that looked just as cool near Yarmouk Which was uh, in the grass. So that's the only reason we used it But uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the end results. We'll uh, check out my army first. My general getting 100 kills Which is not too bad for him. I didn't really want to risk him too much. My spear is getting 90 kills. My uh, scooter toy, like my main infantry, um, they're pretty terrible. They're only like tier 1, but they got 139 kills. Uh, my con uh, contra Contrario, or I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but I'm not even going to try and pronounce it correctly, really. Uh, getting 237. Uh, my axe is here getting 100, uh, 230, uh, 484. So they did really well, both of those. And they were just fun to watch. They just look so good. And then the Armored Sagittari here getting uh, 117 kills. That's pretty solid for them. I didn't really use them massively. And they often got like run down by stuff. Uh, my cavalry, I was expecting them to do a little bit better. But I guess they were fighting like lots of cavalry themselves. So most of their kills are really like key kills that they got. But like 124, 150 for my uh, Cataphractoy. And my uh, Clib, uh, Clibinori or whatever you, how you pronounce that is uh, getting 180 there. So that's pretty solid. Then we'll have got Anzac's uh, army here. He was fighting on the uh, extreme left flank against that ambush force. Um, his spear is kind of getting overwhelmed. The best getting 97 kills. His general getting 188 before he died. Um, and then his scooter toy getting 100 kills. His axes as well doing really well getting 211. So they did really well. His uh, armored Sagittari getting 212. Um, and his cavalry. I mean this cavalry kind of got ambushed really early on. Um, but he got like the uh, lighter unit got 80 kills. And then the... Uh, and the mo more heavily armoured one getting 177, 167. So they did really well. Then we've got Mythic Heat, who was playing as... Uh, I think he was playing as one of the centre armies. But he then went to go and help uh, Anzac, really, mainly, on his flank. 
and uh, his Shaolin getting 80 kills, his Scooter Toy getting 181, his Opt uh, Optima Toy getting 160, his uh, Antiznani, how you pronounce that, getting 148. So this unit here was actually more elite. Like, look at these guys. They did, were more elite, but they just got nowhere near as many kills as the Optima Toy. His uh, Axe is only getting 103 kills, but he had the more, like, not as elite ones, basically. Uh, and his Ballast, uh, Ballastari, Elite Ballastari, getting like no kills. He got run down by Cavalry so early on. And his Cataphracts getting 140 kills. Then Aiden, who was really on my side, helping me on the right flank of the Byzantines. Uh, his General getting 62 kills. His uh, Spears getting 50 kills. His Legio Comstiensis getting 147. His uh, Optima Toy getting 178. 198, did really well. His uh, Contorario getting 226. His... Uh, uh, Axe is getting 247, 246. His Arch is getting 118. His uh, Cavalry, this is like his uh, melee cavalry, he's getting 100, 378. The other one like, did terrible. The other one, this one did really well. And the same with his Ar Archer Cav. Um, 255 for this one, but only 71 for the other. So that was really bizarre. But well done to him. Then we have Escanor, who's playing as like, the spammed out uh, Martyr's Brigade. And like, look at these kills. 207. 270, 272. Uh, these guys did amazing. 248. These guys did amazing. Like his uh, skirmish is not so well, but they did what they could. And his uh, cavalry, like getting 405 kills, 252. Uh, they did really, really well. Uh, so that's nasty. Then we've got uh, Josemans here, who's playing as a. Uh, I can't actually remember which side I think he was on. I think he was in the center. I think he was um, mainly helping, like, again, fighting against me. And uh, Aiden, but uh, yeah, his spear's not doing so well. His uh, Sinai getting 114, the best one. His uh, Martyr's also getting like quite high kills, 118. His uh, Nobles getting uh, 92 kills, and his uh, like Cavalry getting like 106. 330 for his Camel Lancers, that is nasty. And then we've got Sachex who is playing as uh, another one of the Muslim armies. Like I said, I think he was on our left flank as well. He like had a really hard time, as you can see here. Not masses of kills from any of his units. His Sinai here, not doing as well as Josman's. His uh, noble cav uh, noble infantry doing quite well though, 113. His uh, archers not doing amazing. And his cavalry going getting only 108, the best one. Then Dodge Gob, who was uh, kind of a bit everywhere, I think. He was kind of like everywhere a bit. Um, he got like quite a lot of kills with his uh, Mart as well, 159. His uh, Sinai getting 102. His, uh, he has show Kushite Shotels, he had a few of these guys. Um, not doing so well, even though they're supposed to be really, really strong. They, like, did nothing. Um, and his slingers and uh, skirmishers kind of, like, which kind of got caught out by our infantry early on. Uh, get, like, no kills in his cavalry. The best, the best one getting 186, which is this Muslim light horse archer. So, uh, well done to everyone that uh, took part. Uh, thank you all for joining. Really appreciate it. It's a really, really good battle uh, that took place. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. it. Oh, God. Can't even speak. Thoroughly enjoyed it. There you go. A brain fart there. But if you enjoyed them, do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you'd like to join some of these scenario battles, do join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.